I found Bruiser on the side of the road up near Cargo Range. He was, his eyes were all pussy and, and um, he was laying down, he wouldn't move. Um, I didn't know if he was injured or not, apart from obviously being blind. So yeah, I threw him in the car and took him back to the local vets in Ingham, who handed him over to Angel Paws. Since then, I did fundraising for about 10 months and raised about $14,000 on my own. And um, then somehow ended up president. So <laughs> it's gone from finding a dog on the side of the road to president in, oh geez, that was less than a year. Angel Paws is very different to many rescue groups. We pride ourselves on being a no-kill organisation. We have all of our animals in foster homes. We don't have a shelter. I think Angel Paws is, we're, we're grassroots at the moment. We've got a lot more potential. We can become a lot bigger. Um, but it's all small steps, obviously. My personal vision for Angel Paws would be to have our own vet clinic so that we can actually offer cheaper desexing. Having said that, another vision for me is that we promote more awareness for desexing. Um, I, I would also love to be able to work with government to try to change legislation to make it compulsory for animals to be desexed. That would just reduce backyard breeders, which I think are a huge problem.